Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm doing a bloom today and that is my pillow paint and I'm using my Winterstrom Art Spinner. And you'll notice that my paint is that I use is uh, the PPG Multi Pro and it's directly from the can. So just add it right to your canvas. This is an 18 by 24, so I'm doing another big one. Um, and I'm using mostly golden fluids and TLP pigments in this one, which I love. Um, and you'll notice on my last video that I put out, I blew out my blooms and then I deconstructed them, but I put too much pillow paint down, but I really liked the way that the blooms blew out. So I decided on this one, I would try to, instead of deconstructing the bloom, to spin it out on this large substrate um, to see what would happen. So you'll notice that on my, uh, with my blooms uh, that I blow out, I like to use the diverter on my, um, on my blow dryer. I feel like I have more control as to where the paint is going and sometimes it does dig into the pillow paint a little bit, but that doesn't really bother me too much. I don't mind that look. So um, I love these colors together. I, and they, they with that um, Varathane, I um, just love the watercolor effect. So you'll see, I had a lot of black cell activator left in the middle. And so I tried taking my diverter off of my hairdryer and blowing straight down into that. And um, I wasn't really liking the way it was moving, so I just decided just to blow that center, and it worked fine. Um, I'm not a big fan of a straw because a straw makes kind of weird. <laughs> it kind of, to me, it makes these like weird like cell pockets, and so I prefer to use my mouth if I need to blow out the cell activator. But if I have a smaller area, sometimes I'll use the the straw, but I prefer not to use the straw um, in those situations. Now, uh, one thing that um, actually at Fluid Art Experience, some of my students were, who had taken Garrick um, Brown's class had said, oh yeah, Garrick says ride the wave. And basically that's what you're doing with these petals that you're blowing out. You're just kind of watching that wave go until you either want to stop or until it kind of doesn't really move much further. Um, and it's funny because uh, Gail or uh, Karen Dershen, apparently that's what she tells her students and that's where Garrett got it and that's where I got it. So anyways, thank you Karen for uh, that expression because it really does stick with people to ride that wave and it helps to know that you just keep going and um, so I I really appreciate that so um, <clears throat> so here I'm just doing three different petals and I'm trying to overlap them I'm sorry I've still got a frog in my throat from when I was sick a few we weeks ago so uh, I um, on this one, I sort of wish that I had blown the paint to where that middle section, you see there's a white, kind of a white negative space in the middle. I wish I had blown the paint more into that because at the end you'll see it kind of creates this white center, which I'm, it's fine, it's fine. And I think that the painting is really beautiful, but my I don't like that that's where my eye goes. So um, yeah, I would totally do that different next time. Um, you guys, this spinner from Winterstrom Art is awesome for these bigger substrates. I mean, it is so convenient and it's easy to use. Um, I am going to try and go bigger with this. Um, so I definitely can. I saw her spinning out like a three foot by four foot uh, painting on this exact spinner recently so it can handle these bigger substrates which I am really excited to try doing some bigger stuff on this so um, this I'm just going to continue spinning out um, I'm going to let you watch because um, <clears throat> I will kind of move the paint around a little bit um, I you'll see that 
Um, after I put down the pillow paint, I did spread it to the edges because I want, I don't want my paint rolling over itself when it, once it hits that canvas. So I did spread the paint to the edges of the canvas, that pillow paint to the edges, so that it will continue to, to flow uh, and cover the canvas. Um, but then I do kind of, I do start addressing those edges. I think I probably did it. Um, I think I just did a break there and I don't know if, I don't think I showed it, but I did fix up some of those corners where it was kind of thicker in areas. I just wanted to make sure that that was looking nice. So with this, I definitely, I love that the spinner also, I can pick it up with those um, edges and tilt if I need to. Um, on these smaller ones. Once I get to a bigger canvas, I might not be able to do that, but I can on this one. So I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this spinner, you guys. It's definitely worth it. And <clears throat> this painting turned out really pretty once it was spun out. The colors are really gorgeous and it dried perfectly, you guys. It was, it's so pretty dried. So stick around for the um, dried results at the end. Um, I do show you the wet results and the dry results as usual. And um, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think of this one. Um, if you like what you're seeing on my channel, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified each time I put out a new video. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you so much. And, um, and I really do appreciate the comments that you guys uh, make on my channel as well. Um, I love to hear your feedback, good or bad. Like, even if you think there was a way for me to fix that middle section, I mean, I think I was thinking I could probably modify it, but at this point is when it really started to bother me. And um, I kind of wanted to keep that negative space on the lower left corner in the upper right corner and that middle because I wanted to kind of make it a diagonal look and you know not I don't know I was trying to trying to make make that middle part not so bothersome but um, in the end I do still really love this painting I love that watercolor effect that is created by using the Valspar um, deep base C it's the high gloss uh, mixed with the Verathane triple thick, uh, it that Verathane makes a very beautiful watercolor effect. So I love using that um, pouring medium. It's also a pouring medium that Karen Dershon uses, and so that's where I got it from. And I, I know she uses some different ones every once in a while, but that's the one that I really like. I think it just is is a great. Um, uh, mixture and I really love that watercolor effect that is created from that Verathane so and then also Verathane um, you probably heard that like Minwax may have a, a tendency to yellow quicker um, and Verathane uh, that's not the case so um, I just wanted to point that out as well I love that that Verathane you get it at Home Depot you can get it online uh, whereas the uh, Actually, no, yeah, yes, yes. The Valspar um, for the pouring medium you get at Lowe's. So um, I am gonna just put some music on. Um, please, uh, uh, again, like, share, subscribe. Oh, check out my dad's channel, DJ Fluid Arts. Um, he's got some different abstract paintings that he's been doing, so check him out as well. And, um, oh man, I just love this part, it's so pretty. Um, and this over here, I love where that blends and that watercolor effect. And you, I have my, my, um, my flash on so that you could see some of the shimmer, but it's kind of hard to see. Okay, okay, so I'm not gonna just stop talking. So here is the dried results of this um, painting, the lacing turned out really pretty. I actually don't mind where it kind of dug into the pillow right there a little bit. It doesn't bother me at all. I think it kind of just adds a little bit of different interest. And you can see some of that shine from those pigments that I used, um, the TLPs. Um, I think they really, they really enhance the painting quite a bit. So 
I am trying to decide if I'm going to varnish this one. Oh, I love this part up here. Um, or I am going to resin it. So maybe you guys uh, should give me a suggestion in the description box or in the comments. Let me know what you think I should do. I'm still debating on what I should do. So, okay guys, I hope you have a great day and I will see you on the next one. Bye y'all.